What's up, brother? How's it going? Dude, you look cold. Yeah, man, I'm actually going outside. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's enough light here. Uh, you probably won't see if there's enough There you go. Alright. It's all powered on. Sweet. Okay, so now you, you, you're connected? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. How do I know I'm connected? It says not connected in the corner. Top right. Yeah, it says connect. Okay. Okay. Hit the refresh first. Refresh. First. Refresh, yep. Okay, then you, you should see a COM port that pops up. COM 3. There you go, connect. And connect. In the first one. Go this way. Motor configuration, yep. Okay. Um, go, see at the bottom there's a read configuration. Yep. Bottom left. Yep. Hit that. Okay, now this you're gonna read the for the first time and all of the configs are they're in there. So Good for now. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let's set up your uh, your cutoff cut off cut off voltage. So uh, bottom right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So start and end. So the start is where you're gonna start the where the VSC is gonna start limiting your power. Uh -huh. Because your batteries are too low. Okay. Okay. So you, you want it to have a, a good like four volt, no, maybe three volt gap uh, between those two because in case of a voltage shag, you don't want the whole thing just to cut off and throw you off the border. Okay, right on. So we'll start, up, start at 36. Cut off at 36, yeah. Uh, and N 33.6. Can you even put 33.6 on there, or just put 33? Yep. No, 33.6 is, is good. Okay, so once that's done, you hit uh, right configuration. Uh, right configuration. FOC tab. Got it. Okay, so now we have to do a motor detection. Okay. Uh, you see where it says uh, detect and calculate parameter. Okay, so hit the first one uh, that measure R and L. Okay. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now hit the, 
On the left, hit apply. There's two applies on there. Yeah, hit the first one. Okay. Okay. Now hit uh, calculate. Um, I can't really see the, the the third one. Calculate CC. It says. Yeah, just do that. Just uh, it's just gonna crunch the numbers for you. It won't do anything. Okay. Hit that, and then hit the second apply. Okay. All right, do it right. Okay, do it right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now do. Now we're done configuring the motor. Go into the app configuration tab. That one. Okay. Do it right. Uh, read. Sorry. Do a read. Reconfiguration on the bomb. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Um, so now you're in PPM and UR. That's fine, whatever. Uh, go on the PPM tab. P now, uh, click the disable. Click disable. Yep. Do it right. Okay. Now tick the display. It's at the bottom. Oh yeah, click that one. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're gonna see your remote. Yep. Okay. Now squeeze your remote. Oh, I gotta Smash turn it. it. I gotta turn it on. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. That's my maximum. Okay, so write that number down on a paper, whatever. What is it? Uh, that little says 1941. Okay, 1941. Yeah. Max pulse width is. Uh, yeah, so where's the 2? Put the 194. Put it where the 2 is, 194. One zero four. Yeah, okay, so put one zero four. I guess you could leave it at one, whatever. Yeah, we'll be exact. What the fuck? All right. All right. Um, now hit a right. Right. Okay, hold on. I got the pizza rolls coming out of the oven. Hold on. I'm serious when I'm telling you all this stuff. Well, here we are with the carbon and not really bolted to the deck that well. It's very wobbly, but currently hooked up with the help of Charles. He's part of inertian, the inertian team with this new Vesk X. And, uh, we have uh, we have this carbon on FOC.